Bartolo Longo born on February 10, 1841, died on October 5, 1926, was an Italian lawyer who has been beatified by the Roman Catholic Church. He was a former satanic priest who returned to the Catholic faith and became a Third Order Dominican, dedicating his life to the Rosary and the Virgin Mary. He was eventually awarded a papal knighthood of the Order of the Holy Sepulchre. Bartolo Longo, was born into a wealthy family on February 10, 1841 in the small town of Ladiano, near Brindisi, in southern Italy. His parents were devout Roman Catholics. In 1851, Longo's father died and his mother remarried a lawyer. Despite Longo's stepfather wanting him to become a teacher, Longo was set on becoming a lawyer. In 1861, Longo succeeded in convincing his stepfather and was sent to the University of Naples to study law. In the 1860s, the Catholic Church in Italy found itself at odds with a strong nationalistic movement. General Giuseppe Garibaldi, who played a key role in Italian unification, saw the Pope as an antagonist to Italian nationalism and, and actively campaigned for the elimination of the papal office altogether. The Catholic Church in Europe was also competing with a growing popularity in spiritualism and occultism. Because of this, many students at the University of Naples took part in demonstrations against the Pope, dabbled in witchcraft and consulted Neapolitan mediums. Longo became involved with a movement that he claimed led him into a Satanist cult. After some study and several spiritual experiences Longo said that he was ordained as a Satanic priest. With the help of Countess Mariana di Fusco, he inaugurated a confraternity of the Rosary and in October 1873 started restoring a dilapidated church. He sponsored a festival in honor of Our Lady of the Rosary. In 1875, Longo obtained as a gift a painting portraying Our Lady of the Rosary, with Saint Dominic and Saint Catherine of Siena. Sister M. Conchetta de la Tala of the Monastery of the Rosary at Porta Medina had been holding it for the Dominican priest Alberto Radente. Radente had acquired it from a junk shop dealer in Naples for a very small sum. The painting was in bad condition and Longo wrote of his immediate distaste of the poor artistic quality when he first saw it. However, he accepted the gift to conserve funds and to not insult Sister Conchetta. Longo raised funds to restore the image and placed it in the church in an effort to encourage pilgrimages. Alleged miracles began to be reported and people began flocking in droves to the church. Longo was encouraged by the Bishop of Nola to begin the construction of a larger church, the cornerstone being laid on May 8, 1876. The church was consecrated in May 1891 by Cardinal La Valletta, representing Pope Leo XIII. In 1939, the church was enlarged to a basilica, known today as the Basilica of Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary of Pompeii. At the suggestion of Pope Leo XIII, Bartolo Longo and the Countess Mariana di Fusco were married on April 7, 1885. The couple remained continent, abstained from intercourse, and continued to do many charitable works and provided for orphaned children and the children of prisoners which for its time was revolutionary. In 1906 they donated the entire property of the Pompeii Shrine to the Holy See. Longo continued promoting the rosary until his death on October 5, 1926, at the age of 85. The piazza on which his basilica stands has since been named in memory of Longo. His body is encased in a glass tomb and he is wearing the mantle of a knight of the Order of the Holy Sepulchre, a papal order of knighthood. On October 26, 1980, he was beatified by Pope John Paul II, who would call him the Apostle of the Rosary and mentioned him specifically in his apostolic letter Rosarium Virginis Mariae, the Rosary of the Virgin Mary. On October 7, 2003, Pope John Paul II prayed for world peace at the Basilica. More than 30,000 people were waiting to greet him as he flew in by helicopter. On this day event is an educational project. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel.